quite an easy first pick. I suppose the bone inside the sliver is relatively close on the list I'm going to provide soon, but amateur priest wins for sure. Gotta love it. Removing the creature. Clearly it's vulnerable, but possibility of having a guy who bites you and removes the creature as well. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's like a doom blade on a little body. Respectful body. Anyways, um, outrage is probably better than this, but having a white card already. I profess that with everything I know, planar cleansing is better. At that point, it goes so late; it's ridiculous. It's one of those cards that really, really shouldn't go that late. I've seen them like seventh, eighth pick and stuff, like pick one or pack one rather. It's just crazy. It kills everything. I'm not sure if people are worried about the mana or whatever, but it does not matter. It's good enough. It's worth the cost, clearly. I've mentioned it this way before, but think about it. How many board positions are you behind and you just don't want to, or you can't do anything but play defensive and you wish above anything else that you could just kill everything on your opponent's side? Playcaster, that was nice. Best with white as well, I think. Maybe green. Good number of champions in green. I should count it. By the way, I think he's best with probably white. I'd say black goes better with white overall. Vaguely. The life gain mechanic, for one thing. Sanguine bond. The Oromancer works nicely with the Playcasters type stuff for enchantments, I guess, if I'm interested. And I'm telling you, the Oromancer works well with enchantments, is not being as I know. But an added benefit to the synergy of black white. Favor on a Sundial Hawk is one of my favorite techy type things I'd like to say. Well, <clears throat> pardon me. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm elevating myself. Whatever, someone's mother. I suppose. Instinctively cleared my throat annoyingly. I apologize, as usual, for being terribly rude. Mark of the Vampire, I don't know if it could be better. My shock's worth a lot. I'd say the Scroll Thief's better than the Battle Sliver, but. I might even like Shortcut over more than that guy. It's difficult for me to call. Pestering Newt. Uh, it's not nearly as good as the divination, but no, I suppose the light caster does not warrant me to pick the faster new. This is where you can go wrong. Picking different colors, not really having a direction early enough. talk about, of course, it's a simple concept, but just the benefits of being open. If you see stuff in a color that's nice, all of a sudden start to come to you, you can adopt that color a little easier if you've got a card in it already or whatever. Hmm, a lot of good things. 
versus the burn fortify versus this. Um, it's tough. I was gonna say hilarious, but fun. E, whatever the word is. I was trying to mush a bunch together all at once. I was excited with these two. I think I was comparing them. A hey, is my point. I'm pretty sure they're all like very very close to each other. Excuse me, goodness gracious. I think I have to take. Ah, oh, this card's so good. I'm gonna take this with that sliver. Uh, time map's better than hunter or master either. Go with your gut, go with the principles, right? I've got two good white cards, two really good white cards versus one good blue card. Here's the solid pick, I'd say. Perfect instance of when you pick fix over a card which could easily be dead in a color you're not sure of yet. Like the complete opposite of being a dead card. I don't like don't like the grotto really at all, but um, in three colors I mean, which I very rarely do. That's all the difference. Or even in two, I'm sure you could do it if you've got like triple colors like this. I wouldn't recommend it though. I could certainly see the deck. In two colors. Very rarely, but I could imagine it. Dark prophecies and whatnot. Perhaps just thinking out loud now for the first time about it kind of thing. Exactly how good it is. It's nice to see that old Mancer or Kamancer rather. Yeah, I mean the grotto. It's basically like a thought, just it's good in its own right, but certainly. But definitely near the bottom, bottom half for sure of cards. Wonderfully simple though, as well as something to consider. It takes up a pick, where if a normal land would pretty much almost do as well, maybe sometimes then you can see why. Often there'd be better cards than the land that might help you fix it. Like later in the draft, the grotto sucks a lot more. If you know you're playing like two colors or one even or something, of course. It's just worse and worse all the time. In mono red, for example, it is absolutely terrible. No, I'm joking. Because you know it's terrible when you want to Tro is much better than Mallet. card is the Briarback Alpha, I would say, and I would bet my life on. I'm quite sick this is close, but second best is it the Angelica Corn and the Birth Year, maybe. Or the Quake Sickness. Into the Wilds is really good, too. I was placing that the other day. Done the wall notes. Whatever, halfway up or so good. Well, I'm not going to jump into green as this. The wolf is. Molten breath is nice enough. Angelica Cord. Really, really, really good. Got really good white cards. Only three, but. It's enough, really. A sickness or a nice white caster, of course. That's really good. Black red's really good and everything, but I don't think I saw a lot of black. Torn. It's going to take the Accord, or even the Black card, or whatever. I love these guys. Yeah, 
possibly took this guy because he used money. But I mean, we're going into black, we'll see. Phantom Warrior. Probably slightly better than me. I think it is the both on the wall, actually. I mean, technically, in my mind, I haven't thought about it. I think I can say they. That warrior's better than the short cutter overall, probably. My humble opinion, but not in that instance, for sure. So I'm red and color two. Are they just simple two colors? Let's see what that second color is. I would have said white for sure, but it's all about committing to it as well as what you're going to see and what you do see. Like I said, staying open is very important, I think. But basically now, midway through pack two kind of thing, to hunker down. Non-zombie and liturgy of blood. I just put them up on the wall. They're within, I think, two or three cards of each other. And I had to say the liturgy was better. In fact, with the tenacious dead, God, and the molten birth, the nine zombie seems almost as good, if not better, and so ridiculously good. The hard removal is amazing, and I'll regret this, I'm sure. I just have to think outside the box and take that. But honestly, card for card, the liturgy is better. It's pick one, pack one, liturgy over non zombie, I believe. Right there, though. I'll take that. I like them. I think I'm sort of short on, uh, yeah, little things or whatever. I like, you know, a little more one or two drops kind of thing. So it's nice overall. I have a Warlord and the Altars are both about the same level as far as I'm concerned. I take the Lava Axe. Some decent things. Recluse is nice. Dragon Hatchling trying to play unless you're Mountain Red. Should hate draft or whatnot. Or the 45 cent mythic. That's the difference between a good draft and a bad draft or a bad drafter. I'm a bad drafter, so I take the Dark Steel Forge. <laughs> good drafter takes the um, attacker blocker dying. There, that was a good pick out of those mind drop. Yeah. Bad my life on it. Naturalize is nice, but not as useful at the moment. sorts of movies. The fun part, the credits come on or dimension films or something. Figuring out which movie I've almost undoubtedly seen or I don't recognize it though. It's uh, Vince Vaughn and Julia Julia Lewis. Hmm. I not recognize it. I think we're seeing stars E and Hutch was on. Is that these guys? I wonder. I haven't seen it, so makes sense. Some older looks. It's supposed to be from the seventies or something. A lot of good things. Shock, really close to as good as that. Empire Master owns everybody. Nothing for me. I think I'll hate draft over taking a Thunderstrike or something. I'll get back to rest. Dark 
upgrade it to black white or black red rather. I've got some wasted picks and stuff, but um, I'm committed to that. I'll make it work. Whatever happens, I'll just clean the fields. That's the bird. Thorncaster, I like a lot. Uh, it's apparently the outrage in the Thorncaster sliver. And my conclusion was outrage is slightly better, but you would imagine that certain instances later in the draft, once you've got some slivers already, the Thorncaster would be better than the outrage. It's really, really, really solid if you could make it nicely fit. I mean, I guess like a perfect compliment if you've got some um, muscle sliver or whatever they are, stuff like that, just some little efficient slivers already, you know. Vigilance, grizzly bear, white sliver, and stuff like that, or just you know throwing that guy in or whatever. Crazy pre-combat dropping that and just <laughs> changing your board drastically. Stretching movements, but not, not talking to y'all. Most of the day, I'm moving and stretching. That's so natural. And that's a good sign. Murder, for example, does not feel natural, I don't think. I think people. Who murder probably start to feel really weird emotion. <laughs> it's an early whole ideal process of the theory that governs many people's lives subconsciously or not. Barrage, really good in my deck, but corrupt. Even better. Kills players. Creatures are players. It's two good targets. It's a little early for me to rarity sort, but not bad. Oh my god, there's a combo. Destroy all non-land permanents, but all the armor. Oh my, see, just drop this, then play this. Huh? Alters Reef, always nice. Um, I shouldn't say that. When you've got little creatures a la young pyromancer guys and young zombies and tenacious deaths, little creatures. It's quite good. And um, of course it depends how many sack outlets you've already got. If you're playing sort of sacrifice dot deck, you've got some threat and sacked of treasons or whatever. Um good reasons to sacrifice your creatures, like Tenacious Dead. If you already got some, then it's sort of, you know, the value goes down a little bit. You've got three Nomming Zombies already, or a Blood Baron or two, and all that. 
brush, the of the expendables of the brush, whatever it's called technically. Um, yeah, so brush of expendables. Yeah, then it will go down a little bit, but alters your this most often. Very good. But it's a grind that will be in the sideboard sometimes. Sacrifice and pacify a creature with your altars. You mean. Twenty-two cents, I believe, or so. Thank you. And as I've said, it's still on my bottom of the list for pick one, pack one cards. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Quickly count my playables. I don't need that abomination. A rare draft, I should have hate drafted even when you taking taking the ornaments or pay no heat even. However, I'm greedy. It seems. I don't feel it, but I'm just stupid, I guess that's what that was. Taking a rare for the three cents. Versus depriving somebody of a better card. However, of course, you know, it's the statistics then. Chance that the guy's gonna need that card or use it against you or what? Into dream. I barely got a deck here. I'll have to play some less than desirables, maybe. Seismic Stone for the first time ever. <laughs> Smelt main. <laughs> Let's find out. Maybe not. I might have just enough. Undead Mentor, Champion of the Deck. Uh -oh. Yeah, shrivel and yeah, I gotta buy a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna clean it up a little bit. a little low, especially in turns. Uh, ugly, but in accordance with my holy principles, I think. Two damage. 
getting to at this moment is that good idea. My initial thoughts were no. Now something to consider, I've mentioned this before, is the removal principle, meaning your opponent, especially in an instance like this, like black red, will perhaps have something or the desire to kill your creature, and him being able to do so before his combat phase means you've essentially possibly wasted dealing damage for a creature that was going to die anyways. something you said for doing that. Only saving maybe one token from being made, but that could even benefit Alter's Reap as well, maybe. That'll happen in a second response or not. Of course, I get sometimes they put a enchantment on it rather than own them, but that could benefit support schools of thought, I suppose. Don't want to play this guy, but probably should. Maybe I should attack. Maybe I shouldn't even play this. Maybe I should play the mind draft. If I attack against this guy, it's quite threatening. So I'm not going to play the green guy. Might be obvious and not the right play to not play it. <clears throat> you might see it as obvious just to drop it. But I'm trying to think critically, of course, as one would expect to do it. Whatever. Ideal. I suppose if you just can't kill my guy, then I'll be alright, but expecting to lose a card or two, I think I was going to say if that thing dies. Could even happen now, and uh, I'm going to get the token or anything. It's not good. No big deal. Try game two. Ooh, what do you know? Awesome offensive beast. Spark Mage Prentice.
Okay, I'll just beat them game two and three and then move on to the next round. Grab a little bit of coffee that I happen to have and that I'm grateful for. God, I have to change the channel. CNN is on. And fear mongering as usual. I'll go back to Vince Vaughn and Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. A girl in a mini skirt. I think the fact that that guy's planes and goes to them is a testament to my inability to draft well. Carmen Electra and Amy Smart. Jesus Christ. my deck. I expect the draw. And if I get another one next turn, that means the turn after I'm less likely to draw a mountain. And if I hadn't drawn a land next turn, so you know it's good that if I draw one, there's benefits to that, you know, I think optimistically.
possibly killing your hunt. And travel at night is better than spreading. And better than seeming a little more efficient. To my god. There's something to be said for waiting with Minecraft. Um, because of the fact that your opponent will be less likely to want to discard the cards that he's got fewer of, possibly. Because he's aware of the gig and whatnot. So. That's not really necessarily a factor in why I'm waiting. More the taking damage and him gaining life and possibility of it. I don't know, jamming on there or something. Kind of two for one, maybe. Here's the damage, I suppose. Although waiting with the shot could have been good because uh, in conjunction with an attacking running wallhorn, a shot could be something that could even save its life. And I mean, using the mana efficiently, it might have uh, been great. More than likely, you just hit them as soon as you can, right? As soon as the mana affords it, like that turn. That's usually the case, but sometimes I really don't want to take two, I guess. Shock and ah. Uh, wow, that turn was like one of the most offensive in the entire terms I've ever heard. or nine more minutes of this and I win the match. That's my hope. I will press pause though. To see if you more waiting. You've endured enough. Please lose, please lose. Uh, that's absolutely devastating. Kind of mind or like to wait for some tricks or something to help with the Malhar and stay alive. I'm just walking to three tokens, though. Which isn't a good trade, but I guess one I'm willing to make. This might be funny to get the uh, or your shivers in embrace. Or shivers in embrace? Shortcutter. I don't know why, but I guess I want him to block the blood bear. 
as it looks with the token being your authority, not with just a token. idea for me. sense. One with the lives, kill it. Hmm. So many troubles. It's just the icing on the cake. I need the corrupt or something, I suppose. Something to kill something. Whew. That's what I wanted to kill. One of the subpar cards in my deck for sure. In this build, it's not good. And that's that. I hope you have a good day. See you later.